You are now tuned in to the Good Read Podcast. Think that was a good intro? I think it could have been just a little bit more smoother, but as far as intros goes, I feel like that was very good. What's been up with you? How have you been? I've been cool, bro. I've been cool, just chilling, you know, doing these podcasts, popping these podcasts out like it's nothing. I've been popping these podcasts out and just been talking to you, hearing what you've been up to lately. And um, Today we're going to be talking about um, the movie reviews that I have for the world, the trailer reviews that I have for these trailers that came out at the Comic-Con for Justice League, Luke Cage, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And also, I saw a little bit of review for that one movie kind of that says that's based off of King Arthur, um, King Arthur and the Sword, or something like something like that. But the movie sucked, so I, I the, the trailer sucked, so I'm not going to take the time to really talk about that. Um, this episode, generally, when I know with the podcast, generally when I had this episode, I'm going to have the podcast. We generally talk about book reviews. We generally talk about my audio books. We generally we talk about interviewing authors, but I know you're a nerd like me. I know even though you might not like comic books, I know even though you might not like comic books, I know you probably still do like a few good Marvel movies and a few good DC Comics movies. So, or you probably grew up off of DC Comics cartoons like Justice League Unlimited, like Teen Titans. Shout out to all my Teen Titans fans out there, by the way. One of the best shows ever to come in this country. And, um... I don't know, I just feel like, yeah, I want to talk about it. It's the nerd culture, man. You got to get into it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, Let's just hop right into it. First trailer I want to talk about that I saw, that I really felt some type of way about, just getting into it off the top, is let's talk about the um, um, Doctor Strange trailer. Now, Doctor Strange, if you're not familiar with Doctor Strange... Doctor Strange is this um, this Middle Eastern looking, Persian looking doctor in the Marvel comics who can do magic. You know, he's like this cool ass magician. Picture Harry Potter in Marvel, which in and of itself doesn't really sound like a good idea, but he can do magic. Well, they made a movie about him, and in the movie we have Benedict Cumberpatch playing him. You know what I'm talking about, right? Benedict Cumberpatch, you know what I'm talking about. He um he played um the bad guy in that movie Jupiter Rising. You know what I'm talking about. Benedict Cumberbatch, bitch. Um fairly attractive man, um beautiful voice. He has a very excellent accent in English by the way. He, he I forgot the nigga was from the United Kingdom for a moment. But very great actor. Um you know what I'm talking about. I just I can't think of any other movie besides Jupiter Jupiter Rising. But He's played in a lot of good movies. He's a very, very respected actor. He's playing the role of him. And I saw him in the trailer. And the trailer for the movie in itself, out of a seven, out of 1 through 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I don't feel like it's going to be all that cool of a movie. But I do like Benedict Cumberbatch. And judging from, judging from, from what I've seen in the trailer... I think he probably did a good job in the trailer. I think he probably did a good job, bro. I feel like he probably did a good one. It's just, you know, I'm being a little bit extra critical on him. But overall, I think he probably is going to do a good job for us. But I just don't like the way the movie's set up. I don't like the way the cinematics are. When I compare the movie to how it was how it was when I watched the movie, when I compare the movie to how it was when I watched the cartoon movie on Netflix, I'm not really that impressed. And it's kind of hard for movies to really compare it to cartoon movies because, you know, with cartoons, man, you know, you have so much more freedom. You know what I mean? Like, you have so much more freedom with cartoons. But with movies in real time, it's hard to have that, it's hard to have that kind of freedom. So it's kind of hard for you to have, it's kind of hard for you to convey, like, all the special effects and everything, even with CGI nowadays. So it's hard to get that, get that perfectly set and perfectly good. So we're going to give the Doctor Strange trailer a 7 out of 10. And if you have any opinions about why I gave if you have any opinions against me giving it a 7 out of 10, if you think I shouldn't have given it a 7 out of 10, then by all means, contact me and let me know on Twitter. Um, 
easily, easily. If you feel some type of way about my reviews, you know, let me know. You can tweet me at JT's Boulder Stream or Instagram me at JT's Boulder Stream. Either or we can have the conversation and it would make my day. Anyway, now let's get into the next trailer. Um, you remember that show that came out earlier this year, Jessica Jones? Okay, so with Jessica Jones, you know, like in Jessica Jones, her boyfriend, the dude that she was talking to and fucking every five minutes was this black guy named Luke Cage. And Luke Cage is a very popular character in, um, in the Marvel world. You know, he's one of the few cool black characters that you got. Well, actually, you got a few. I mean, you got Blade, you got... Yeah, so he's one of the few good characters that we got. Anyway, and um, they had talked about um, earlier this year that they were making a series particularly for him. And at first, I was really critical about it. At first, I was critical about it. I was like, you know this ain't going to be good. They're going to get this black man this damn series. And when it fucks up, they're going to blame all the whole nigga race. We ain't going to have another black superhero for 17 years. But then I actually saw the trailer, and bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. Like when you see the trailer, it starts off with him ripping a car door off an SUV and bursting through an apartment and attacking niggas with it. He's he's blocking the bullets with the car door. He's hitting them with the car door. He even wraps one dude up in the car door. Like he bends the car door around the dude like he's a slim jim, and it is hella funny. Like. I'm surprised. I didn't really think it was going to be that good, but I'm definitely watching that show. Man, and I'm going to tell you, outside of the Doctor Strange trailer, salute to Marvel Comics. I've talked about this before in this podcast. Marvel is very, very innovative when it comes to making great movies, great TV series that everybody loves. DC Comics, I love DC Comics on cartoons. Way more than I love Marvel on cartoons. But DC Comics is terrible, untalented, autistic at making great films. Let's get into it right now. Uh, they had a rev- they have the trailer, and I decided uh, to watch it for Justice League. Now, you might be like me. You might be a Justice League fan. You might be somebody who loved Justice League. You might be somebody who watched Justice League and Teen Titans as much as I did. But if you watch this trailer for Justice League, you cannot tell me this trailer is full of pure D shit. This trailer sucks so bad. I like even the the dialogue in the movie is terrible. Like, first off, let let me just tell you all my issues I have with the trailer. So. First off, the trailer starts off in a bar, in this bar near the water. Um, you already know what they're talking about, Aquaman. You know, I don't, even that right there, just the fact that you would start off a trailer talking about Aquaman, the most hated character in DC Comics as a superhero, you're going to start it off with him. That's one fuck up that you made. Now, there's a guy in the bar talking about Legend Has It. There's a man who comes to this bar. He only comes to the shore when people are in emergency or people are in need. He comes to their rescue at their aid. And next thing you know, the dude from the first season of Game of Thrones who was fucking the princess who had the two dragons pops up out of nowhere and says, talk. Next thing you know, and that's the epic moment. Now, I don't want to shit on the actor who's playing Aquaman because I actually like him. He actually looks really cool. He looks hella cool as Aquaman. I'm not going to lie to you. That was the only cool thing about the trailer is how cool he looks as Aquaman. But that show, that trailer was terrible. That trailer was that trailer was terrible, bro. Like, and even when they had Barry Allen, the the dude that they have playing Flash is playing Flash, who's Barry Allen. That nigga looks lame as hell. He don't even look like a good Flash. He look lame. Batman's suit looks terrible. Wonder Woman is beautiful. Wonder Woman is beautiful. I'm not even going to deny that. She is a very beautiful woman. But Wonder Woman looks good. Um, The dude who's playing Cyborg, his Cyborg costume looks like a fucking toy paper mache project. It looks like a cheap-ass toy that you can't even find in the Toys R Us. 
or it look he he look in a lot of ways like a toy that you would find at the Marshall section in the um at the cheap cheap toy section in Marshalls. Like he looks so stupid. It's retarded. And I hated that trailer and I'm disapp- I'm so disappointed in Justice League. I'm so disappointed. Like I don't understand why they keep making these terrible ass real time movies. They make a great cartoon movies. Don't get it fucked up. DC Comics compared to Marvels will always shit on Marvels in the cartoon movie section. But when you get into this real world, we get into this real world, their movies can't even compare to Marvel. And one thing I was thinking about, who the hell made the superhero roster for the first Justice League movie? Cyborg, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and Aquaman. Where the hell is John Jones? Like, where the hell are all the good people? Where is John Jones? Where is um, where is hell? Where's a goddamn? Where's any of the real good people? Where is any of them at? I don't see why you would have fucking Cyborg. I love and I love Cyborg. I love Cyborg to death. But I don't see why you would have Cyborg as like the premier one of the premier characters in Justice League. If you are going to have a Justice League movie for everybody to see, then. The best characters that you would have, the people who would really embody a Justice League film, you would have to have Superman. You'd have to have Batman. I don't like Batman, but you would have to have him. You would have to have John Jones. You would have to have Wonder Woman. You would have to have Green Lantern. You would have to have, um, shit, who else am I not thinking of? Hell, Captain Marvel. I don't know. But why would you bring Aqu- Why would well, Aquaman was part of the original Justice League? But by default, he sucks so much as a character. Like... Nobody really cared about Aquaman. Even as even as any even Aquaman even Aquaman's freaking even Aquaman's antagonist sucked ass. Like for example, one of his antagonists was a dude named the Black Ray, the Black Manta, who turned out to be some nigga like an actual black dude who went under the sea and was trying to come up with some plot to make all black people breathe underwater so that way we could escape the racism above us in the United States. You know what? I'm not even going to get into that. I'm just going to leave you with that note on that. That was retarded. That was the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Stupidest idea I've ever heard for a show in my life. You know, it's, that's retarded. But anyway, to move off of Justice League, we're going to give Justice League uh, a 4 out of 10 as far as the trailer is concerned. And those four points that I am letting them have is simply because I like the way that Aquaman looked and the way that Wonder Woman is cast. Wonder Woman is a very beautiful woman. Now, also, I'm gonna give give I'm going to give Luke Cage a ten out of ten. I'm going to give Luke Cage a ten out of ten, simply because it was a great, great trailers, and I think that's a great series that we have waiting for us. I think you're going to enjoy it. I think I'm going to enjoy it. So it can go both ways. Um. Also, bro, we're gonna talk about last one. We're gonna talk about. I'm gonna cut this one short because I have to meet up my aunt for Taco Tuesday. Um. I was watching the trailer for Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them, and I actually like it, bro. I think I think it's going to be a great movie. And I'm not just saying that because I swing on J.K. Rowling's tits all the time. Like I love her a lot, but I'm not just saying it just to be a um, a fanboy. Because you know one thing about me, you 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 know me, you know me, you know me. And one thing about me is I'm always I've always been the type of person who. I'm going to speak my opinion regardless of how cool I am with the person. You know, I feel like I wouldn't be a good friend if I wasn't telling you the truth. So, with that being said, the Fantastic Beast and Where the Fighting trailer, I think is going to be a great movie. I feel like with the character Newt Escamander, I think you're going to like him. He's cute in that kind of corny, but shy, but awkward kind of way. Even how he has his little hair bob, it looks cool. You have Colin Farrell playing a bad guy, which I was not prepared for. I did not think... I haven't seen Colin Farrell in a movie in a long time, to be honest with you. So, I was surprised to see him pop up in it. And you have my boy in there, my man. Shout out to him, Don um, Don Folger. He also played in... Um, Don Folger played in this pin- pinball movie. I can't remember the name. But he also played in this show last year called Secrets and Lies on ABC which was a really, really accredited show. Very, very great show. I want to shout out Dan Fogel for getting that part because I feel like he's a very underrated actor. 
You know, he he's really funny. I haven't seen any of his stand-up comedy, but I have seen a lot of his movies. He's really funny, really cool guy, charismatic. I love him. So I want to give him a shout-out for getting that role. That was very, very hey, great. That was very great that he got that. And that's it from the movie review. So just to recap what I said, Doctor Strange got a 7 out of 10. Justice League of America sucked ass with a 4 out of 10. Um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them got a 9 out of 10. Um, where else? What else am I thinking about? That's the one I forgot. Oh, and Luke Cage got a 10 out of 10. And those are my movie reviews and trailer reviews for the Comic-Con. You know, I actually worked at the Comic-Con before. I think I told you that already, actually. Yeah, I worked there. Um, I worked there when I was 19 or 20. I forgot. I worked there when I was 19 or 20 at the San Diego Comic-Con. It was actually a pretty cool experience, to be honest with you. I feel like it was cool. I feel like I had a good time. And I feel like I met I met a lot of good people there. I met a lot of good people. And it was a great experience for me to go through. But anyway, um, I'm going to have to cut this podcast short. I know you don't want to say goodbye to me. We were having such a good time talking. But, you know, I have to go, man. You know, it's, um, I have to go um, meet up my aunt. But it's been a pleasure talking to you. I want you to communicate with me, and I want you to tweet me at JT's Boulder Stream. I want you to follow me there. You can also subscribe to this podcast. Um, um, I want to also say Thursday we're going to be talking about my reviews for Starcross by Josephine Angelini and my reviews for Fairy by Brian Aroud, Brian Frode, and Alan something something. I forgot his last name. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to all of you guys. It's been great feelings. Um, thank you for supporting this podcast. Thank you for pressing the share button. Thank you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family. It's always love to know that so many people just are, so many people are tuning in and feeling me when I get on this microphone. So, with that being said, love all of you guys. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to give you guys a little hand clap just to leave you guys out. Okay, that didn't come out the way. That that was that was so unprofessionally produced. But anyway, it's been a pleasure talking to all of you guys, and I hope you guys tune in more. I hope you guys tune in soon. Whew.